Hey beautiful people, how are you? My name is Connor. My name is Brittany. And we're really excited about this video. Mm -hmm. We have been using non-binary pronouns for Ilya for almost a full two years. Yeah. And we recently just had a really good conversation about that and have just started using their other pronouns. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> We actually, it was cool how it came up. It was, for me, it came up a couple months ago. Initially, a friend asked us about it. Do you remember that? Together? Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, she asked us about it together. And it was cool because we had different answers at the time, just like around that. And that brought up like you and I discussing right. how I think initially you were feeling about wanting to use Il another pronoun for Ilya. And then I feel like for me what's happened is just like this unfolding and expansion and I feel like the, the, the thing we're sharing here is cool but the bigger thing is the discussion underneath it and mm -hmm. really how I feel like we're always embracing a newer level of what feels right and authentic for us and that that's changing all the time and that it can change. Yeah, I mean, totally makes sense that we would all have these evolutionary processes and try something on and then you move on to the next thing. And I think our decision to use non-binary pronouns for Ilya was a, was made out of like a really good place. And I'm, I'm really happy that we did it. Yeah. And so let's talk about the thing that, you know, our reason behind it yeah. and, and why I personally feel yeah, like it was very reason. accomplished. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've talked about that. Like we feel like we completed the thing we set out to do, right? I feel complete in that. And now I feel like we're on a new chapter. Yes. Yes. Um, I really wanted to do it because I wanted Ilya to have a chance to sort of define for themselves what their characteristics were going to be without influence through assumption by other people. And what we had heard a lot or what I, I had, yeah. I was sort of wanting to stave off were really extreme polarizations of how we view men versus women uh, or uh, girls versus boys. Like boys aren't supposed to cry. Like obviously that's one I think we all know, like that's total bull and we wanna avoid that. But nonetheless, like you still, you know, it's still like in there in some way, even if it's not that direct. Yeah. Or like boys will be more Aggressive, aggressive or, um, or like he's gonna be a blah 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 yeah. or she's gonna be such a sweet blah, right, blah. Just, right. like, just like these things that are very clearly highly hyper gendered and not that maybe those don't have roots in some biological you know um truth truth like maybe possibly uh, not the crying thing but like yeah maybe there there's some other things that kind of make sense and whatever but the reality is that we've seen variation of gender expression in ourselves, in our friends, in people we love, um, in people we admire. And I think that the, the reality is that we have uh, this harmonic balance between masculine and feminine energy, and that can express itself in any way it wants. Um, so we really want to give Ilya this blank slate to not receive influence externally based on how people presumed they were or are uh, based on, on, their, on, on their sex. Yeah, it's been really cool. I think it's been a huge uh, success in our families and friends too in particular and just really appreciate how everybody's been so open to trying something different. And I feel like our families and our friends see Ilya as their own unique being. And that was really what I was wanting for yeah. them. And it's been cool to think about more as Ilya has been embracing language lately. I think mm. it's cool to think, to think about like them being more aware of pronouns and using them and wanting Ilya to really be able to choose what, what they want to use for yeah. themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's where it's come, come from for me. Like I don't have an agenda for Ilya. I feel like I wanted to give them the best possible chance at freedom and self-expression. Yeah. And also don't want to impose something on them that's like not something they would have embraced. Right. Yeah. A lot. I'm, and I, it's, 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 there's a lot of different th factors to consider. But as I said, I really think that we accomplished something that was meaningful to us. And I do believe that it was, it was a really helpful um, first 
couple of years for them just to be who they are. And it also sparked some really good conversations with strangers yeah. um, about gender, about gender expression, about like why this was interesting to us to try on for them. Um, and it, and it, I think helped me individually, you know, grow and understand it, you know, the important elements of gender importance to me versus, um, non-binary importance versus, you know, masculine and feminine expression. There's like a lot of different elements yeah, here. Yeah, so powerful. I also just want to mention, I think this is a really interesting time to be alive. And I know that within myself, I've thought a lot about pronouns and gender fluidity, and I feel really fluid. And I kind of don't oh, care what, okay, good, yeah. what pronouns people <laughs> use for me. And at different times, it's felt like, yeah, they, them resonates more, or she, her, or like he, him, if you're in the mood. And it's kind of like, for me, the, the point feels like, I don't care. And I think it's just as powerful to say like, I am a female and change what that can mean as it is to say I identify as non-binary and for people to understand what that can mean for me. It's the point for me is that it's, we're individuals yeah, and <laughs> we have to choose pronouns to some extent. So it's just kind of been fun to play around with it. Yes. Yeah, and that, thanks. Um, so we never corrected anyone who yeah, used love that. pronouns for Ilya. Uh, some people still call Ilya she, her, mm -hmm. and Ilya is, is, has a penis, so. Um, yeah, some people who know that Ilya has a penis. <laughs> still say she, which is totally fine. Yeah. So we just never corrected it, and we just always used they, them, and if someone had a question about it, then we've talked about it, and we've let people know. You know, they, they've corrected themselves, like, oh, sorry, you know. Um, and we just told him like, dude, it doesn't matter. The point is that they just get to have the fluidity right now to yeah. just be a baby. Yeah, to just totally. Be a baby. Oh my gosh, without any sort of roles imposed on them. Right. And to develop, you know, their own sense of connection with whatever they want to. And as it's turned out, Ilya is super into balls, sports. Um, really into trucks. Really into self-expression and emotion and dancing. Really like beautifully sensitive, really, yeah, connected with music. Really developed language skills. So, you know, I mean, we could gender some of those things. We could say like, oh, it's because of that reason. And I don't know, maybe it is. There's an influence of biology in the background. But ultimately, I think it really, it really matters how we feel about what we choose to refer to ourselves as. And then the world is going to kind of refer to us as whatever they, they yeah, do, whatever they want to. Yeah. And we can request a change uh, and they can either do it or not. Um, and that's kind of their thing. But our, our side of it is like we have this small human and we kind of have this strange responsibility right now to kind of <laughs> do things for them or label them certain things. And it has felt really, really cool for me to be able to have this connection with Ilya that like, hey, we both have penises and I'm a man and uh, you're, you're, you're a man and mm. like you're a boy. And you know, how does that feel? And have little yeah. conversations about that. Yeah. And our intention throughout this whole thing has been like uh, to have conversations about gender with Ilya, to have conversations about biological sex with Ilya, to have conversations about feminine and masculine expression with Ilya. Mm -hmm. And that is definitely still going to happen. No question and about it. And it's happening. Yeah. And so uh, me personally, I've gone back and forth with, with using they, them, and I've gone back and forth with using he, him for Ilya. And it's been, it's just felt really good. It's felt like a really nice natural evolution. And I do feel like it's been fun to have that connection to share with Ilya. Like, hey, you and me, we have this like similarity. And I'm not attached to it. You know, if Ilya wants to use something else in the future, like, yeah. heck yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I love that. I think the whole process for me has felt like, I feel like I, I was inspired to think about it more based on like they, them not resonating with you as much. Or maybe I could say you wanting to be able to celebrate right. Ilya yeah, thanks being for bringing that male. Up. Yeah, right, I, right. when we first talked about it, I really love that you were like, you know, I'm really celebrating masculinity right now. These are my, I'm paraphrasing it, but like something that you're really embracing more of that and want to be able to do that with Ilya, which makes right. so much sense to me. And I feel like so much of what we focus on in Ilya's life is celebration, like mm. celebrating who they are and mm. what they're doing. And I love that we can really celebrate Ilya having a penis and like yeah. celebrate Ilya being a boy and right. 
that's really cool. And also celebrate Ilya not being a boy or whatever they want and also be able to give them a little bit of like concrete like you have a penis and generally in our society people with penises refer to themselves as boys and they know that I have a vagina and they'll like reference that and I feel like they understand the difference between genitalia which is cool mm. and just like give them more of a framework so that way they can exist in the world as it is now and also so much space to know that they can be anything they want which I really think Ilya knows yeah I do and to feel also another cool thing has been like feeling like I want Connor to do whatever sounds good for you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. You, and when we bro first talked about it, when Ilya was in utero, I remember feeling a little nervous about bringing up this idea of not using, um, using non-binary pronouns for Ilya. And I remember we were both just super into it. Oh yeah. And that was really cool because I felt like I don't want to have to, I don't want to impose anything right. on you. And again, I feel like we can do whatever. And <clears throat> it's pretty, I pretty much still use they, them pronouns. And also something that I've started doing more is when somebody pointedly asks me and is like questioning, is Ilya a boy or a girl? Cause that happens a lot. Instead of being like, oh no, we don't gender them, blah, blah, blah. Like sometimes I'm just like, oh yeah, they're a boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's been really cool. And sometimes if people are using a pronoun to refer to Ilya, then I'll use that pronoun too. And it's happened just inadvertently that I'll say she when it, somebody oh, really? will be talking. <laughs> yeah, that's happened a couple times. Um, and I think the whole point is like, it, it's, it's all welcomed. And yeah. I think Ilya knows who they are. I think Ilya is, getting the message that it's really awesome to celebrate having a penis, being a boy, and also that they're not stuck in any sort of role. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I think that the idea that like, oh, this whole journey could be confusing for Ilya is just not applicable in our circumstances. And in fact, I think it's allowed us to develop more clear communication with Ilya yeah. um, around this subject and just around everything, you know, I mean, that's, a huge mission of ours in being a part of Ilya's life is to yeah. offer a really authentic, clear communication, uh, to experiment, to to share a dialogue, you know? And I don't get the sense that Ilya is confused about much of anything. To be no, I don't think so. So I think it's actually actually offered the opposite. It's offered more clarity, more depth. More depth. Yeah. I think so too. And also Ilya hears us speak about so many people with so many different yeah. um, pronouns. And, and they're around, you know, so many people with so many different pronouns. And, and genders and yeah. identities yeah. and um, non-binary people. And, and also... I totally lost it. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm, Perfect. I'm, There's so much to say about this topic. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really like, again, I just feel really good about it. And I'm so glad that we're sharing it here. And yeah. I hope that it feels good for everyone. And that, you know, it's not like um, something that maybe you were attached to and excited about. And now it's changing. But I know that maybe that's that's out of my hands. But I do want to say that I just super honor you yeah. and whatever your kind of feeling is about you know, us doing this for a couple of years and not changing it, whether that feels good for you or it feels a little challenging. Um, you know, we celebrate you for yeah. sure. And this is not a, this is, doesn't at all take away from anything that you're expressing in your life. We just have a hundred percent support. And I love that, you know, this is to me is not a, a big deal, but might be for, for someone. Um, but there could be other things that feel like, you know, we make big deal shifts all the time. We do. And I think that's a, a reality of being connected with a couple of YouTubers that want to keep it real and authentic and are have been on YouTube now for like seven, eight years and can plan on continuing for a long time. Like yeah. we're probably going to keep changing and probably, yeah. you know, I, I just feel like, dude, I don't know. Like, you probably I, won't agree with everything we yeah. do. We don't necessarily agree <laughs> don't, with our old videos. Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, yeah, you're welcome it is here. what it is. And also I want to say that <laughs> I felt a mourning process. There was something that I had to move through when mm. you shared this and I just felt like, oh, Connor doesn't want to do this anymore. Yeah, that's, or right. that's right. You want to do it differently. And it was really powerful for me to sit with and like think about what was underneath it for me and how I wanted to feel connected and if I still could, which I can. And also like 
I, I think the big thing here that we talk about in pretty much every video is do what feels good and right for you, like in your gut. Mm -hmm. And this is so important to us to not stick to something just because we said we would, like to constantly reevaluate and see where we are at now. And I love mm -hmm. that you are like using the pronouns that feel good for you and I'm using the pronouns that feel good for me. I'm really excited to talk to Ilya more and feel like, Ilya, do you want me to refer to you as he or they <laughs> or something else? <laughs> So gosh, I just feel so open about it and really welcome anything you're feeling because I think it's more data for you and it's really powerful to sit with that stuff. Yeah, we really appreciate you being here. Just like feeling a lot of love for you today. Whoever you are, I don't care. Just like feeling it. Really feel so appreciative of this space. Me too. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Yeah. We'll check in soon. Yeah.